As an athlete, you can never stop learning about the history of the game you play. It's about knowing who came before you and knowing what they did to change the sport and change so much else too. When you talk about the guys like that in basketball, one OG who I think doesn't get enough recognition is Elgin Baylor. Elgin grew up in Washington, D.C. in the 40s and the 50s, back when the city was still segregated. But Elgin could play basketball, and boy was he a star. And in a Sacramento, California. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Hey, good evening, Kevin. The Kings are trying to snap their long playoff. DA, the Sacramento fans would love to see that as well. Thanks so much for that report. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. Markin and Carter are up front, and it's Junior in at the point. And for Sacramento, Heald and Barnes are the two in the three. Bagley is out there with Nemanja Bielica, and it's Fox in at the point. Both teams tonight, Greg, love to push the ball up the floor, even off main shots. You know, trying to find an opening before the half court D can set up. I think you're going to see more and more of that every year. I agree. And stolen by Bielita. Nice D from Porter. In transition, here come the Bulls. Here's Junior trying to get open as Carter. And it's Junior missing. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. Yeah, faced off twice last season, and it was a split between the two teams. And that seems about right. I mean, last season uh, was one that both of these teams would like to forget. They got beat up a lot and couldn't even beat up on each other. And so it's the Kings getting on the board first. Bagley brings the double team. Junior the pass to Levine. And here's Junior. And the three off target. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Here's Fox. Markinen pulls it in. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's oh. 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 <laughs> Got to give Levine some love. Many of the dunks he pulls off are just flat-out nasty. Now, here's Fox. Defense is right there. The Elita with the bucket. A straight up effort gets him those points. That's what it's all about on the offensive glass. Inside, Junior kicks to Carter. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. Oh, man, what a good job by Carter. I mean, he takes complete control of the paint and finishes the play strong. Has to heal. Kings moving the ball around. Unloads from 13. They grab their own miss. Bagley, no good. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Junior the pass to Levine. Drains it from beyond the arc. Levine's got five. I think Junior takes more pride in a pass like that than he does in scoring a bucket. I mean, that's the unselfish attitude he brings on the court. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Right side, Fox. Over Junior. Misses off the right iron. Got to give him credit for his confidence. I mean, he hasn't hit a single shot this quarter, but he still keeps firing. And Junior, a player who's expected to be a bit of a project, 
They'll give him spots here and there early in the year. But he's shown well in the time he's had thus far. And Greg Jr., a player they have high hopes for, just not early on. Talent is there, certainly, but the opportunities to develop might not be readily available. <laughs> you ask Buddy Hill, he says he's not just a shooter. He's a maker, and boy, he's right. One, one of the great marksmen, not just in the league today, but in league history. I mean, look at the volume of threes he's attempted, and his percentage, he's an elite company. Timeout is called, first of the game for Sacramento. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shot. But they just had nothing to offer. They, they look very defeated out there. And finish off by Bagley. An excellent finisher on those lob passes. If Bagley can get his hands to it, he will throw it down. Outside, Levine passes it to Junior. This one for three. Another three for Chicago. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Healed outside. A pass to Fox. And it's good for two. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. The Bulls leading by seven. To the inside. Junior. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Junior's got his second bucket tonight. Oh, this is is the kind of start they were hoping for. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Bagley. And Bagley able to finish. Bagley's got his third basket of the night. For Chicago, they've gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. Doubled by Fox. Outside, Porter. Now, here's Junior, guarded by Fox. Let's a floater go. The shot that time, not on target. And the Bulls going the other way now. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Now, here's Junior. He's covered by Bielitsa. Shot clock at six. Levine for three. Another three for Chicago. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. And here is Fox after the three-pointer from Zach Levine. Barnes dishes to Bagley. Knocked away. And it's Fox with the jam. Can't forget about Fox's vertical. He could really get up to throw it down. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Fresh from a win against Portland. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Now, here's Junior. D right on him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, how hard is it to maintain focus this time of year when you know we're on a championship contending team? You know, some of that, I think, depends on the leadership you have in your locker room. Uh, certain guys just keep everybody engaged and motivated and and you know what you've got to break the season down in, into chapters to help yourself with the motivation because sometimes that season can be so long and it's hard to stay focused in the present when you start thinking about the postseason healed and boss are the two and the three giles is out there with marvin bagley and it's baysmore at the one spot so that's the five in the game for sacramento Hazemore with it. There's the pass to Heal. Back to Bazemore. Pass to Bagley. Six to shoot. And finish off by Bagley. This is what Bagley does. I mean, he tries to get his side often and finish with this kind of force. 
The Bulls leading by six. Here's Junior. The Bulls keep it alive. Second shot opportunity. Bagley with the block. Almost seven feet. Bagley has got the tools to be a great shot block. Healed outside. That's a two from Barnes. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number five here tonight. And it's Junior missing. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held him back as a team. Healed outside. Misses the three. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Junior the pass to Markinen. Count that one. Markinen's got four points this quarter. And really, Markinen isn't just an outside threat. He's more than capable of capitalizing inside. Now, here's Bazemore. He's guarded close. They get a hand on it. Healed outside. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got seven rebounds in the game. And Junior throws it down. And love how Junior makes himself available for his team right where they need him for the big finish. Now here's Bazemore. Passes it to Barnes. Healed outside. Hands it from downtown. Heald's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. A genuine sniper from distance. Heald's three-point stroke is as good as it gets. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Well, Harrison Barnes at 68225 has played some power forward. Greg, do you like him there or at his more natural small forward position? I think in today's game, Kevin, having the strength he does allows him to kind of hold his own. You know, you don't see a lot of four men playing a lot of post-up in today's game. He's still got to be able to play in space and I think creates matchup nightmares for the opponent. Levine kicks to Junior. Three-pointer. And there's Levine on the assist by Junior. Levine's got the lead up to 10 now for the Bulls. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Dishes it to heel. High post Bagley. Healed outside. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Heald's got a pair of triples in the second now for the King. The Bulls leading by seven. To the paint. And that one's good, Junior. And that's now 11 points for Junior. Well, when you play with Junior's level of desire, you simply do not go down easy. Fox lays it up and banks it in. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. And they pick up two. Junior's got eight points in the quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Sacramento's gone four zips and long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Levine against Teal. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Bialica. Oh, look at Hills and selfish approach. He's working to find everyone in the not just himself. Now, here's Junior. Guarded by Fox. Outside Levine. To the right side. Launches a three. Another three for Chicago. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Pass to Barnes. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Great open look there. Heald's got eight points. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. 
It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. There's no shortage of grip to Junior's guy. He gets his elbows dirty. He'll come right at you and force you into mistakes. And some changes here for the Kings. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Marvin Bagley. Parker comes in for Barnes. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for heel. Chicago also making some changes. Bobby Portis has checked in for Wendell Carter. Young comes in for Lowry Markinen. And Chris Dunn subbed in for Otto Porter Jr. And here we go. Fast break. Junior's got it. Back to Levine for the three. And so it's Chicago going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. So for Chicago right now, Arkin and Carter are up front. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. And it's Junior in at the point guard. So finished by Junior. Here's a guy who grew up playing on the streets of New York. You know, he's not afraid of contact. Now, here's Fox, guarded closely. The Bulls leading by 12. Levine dishes to Junior. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Chicago shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. What I love about Junior, he's got grit and tenacity. He's always looking for ways to improve. Healed against Levine. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Zach Levine. Well, Buddy Hill, the consummate gym rat, growing up in the Bahamas, he built his own rim with a milk crate and would shoot all night. His neighbors got so tired of yelling at him to keep it down, he, he sprinkled broken glass under the rim to get him to move the hoop. In the corner, it's Levine. He kicks it to Junior. Back to Levine. Levine double team. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. And Greg, they said Heald would wait until his mom fell asleep and then sneak out to play basketball. And when she came looking for him, he'd take off running. Yeah, he, he preferred to catch that discipline at home, more so than in public. But growing up in the Eight Mile Rock, a, a tough neighborhood, his mom rightfully very protective. Teams have dynasties. The 90s, Michael Jordan, we've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though... Who do you think is going to lead the pack there? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating him, with LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucks. For me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with Kristoff, uh, Porzingis, that, that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have, man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. Alex Lenz checked in for Bielitsa. That one drops for us. Evolving right before our eyes. When Fox puts it all together, so fun. To the middle, stolen by Len. Fox with it. Now guarded by Porter. Nobody near Barnes. A three-pointer off the mark. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And the shot goes in. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The Kings trail by 18. Outside, Fox. 
on the wing, healed. Guarded by Levine, healed with the bucket. Yeah, he's evolving into a more well-rounded score. He'll really show him his toughness right there, finishing off these types of shots. Chicago calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Sacramento making some changes. Harry Giles is checked in for Bagley. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for heel. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Chicago. Light comes in for Levine. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Junior fires from way outside. The long distance three is built. Junior's got 13 points in the second half. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by 17. The dish to Fox. And that one, good. Fox has got 26. Oh, he's got a role in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Here's Junior. Another three for Chicago. Oh, man, the range of Junior. Every time you can hit a long-range shot, the D is spread that much more. Open some driving lanes. Down low, here's Giles, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Here's Junior. He's got 31. From the arc. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. The Kings trail by 19. Now Fox. He's got 26. From 15 feet away. Len down low. Marking it on him. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And just a... Quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Quick shot there and it's off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Giles is out there with Parker and it's Len in at the pivot spot manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. But they'll get another chance. Here's Junior trying to get open as Carter. And Junior with the basket on the assist from Carter. Junior's got 36. Sacramento's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the front. Oh, this is what smart point guards do. Fox is adept at realizing the defense's mistakes and exploiting it. Here's Junior. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. Sacramento making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. Levine's checked in for Chicago. Free throw good, Junior. Your son, Cole Gregg, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was, it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top-notch. So that process, about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. There's the triple. Trains the three-pointer. Junior's got 42 in the game. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. King shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. And Bogdanovich kicks to Fox. Fox is double. Inside. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Well, you you got to like the game of Bogdanovich. Really skilled at finding space inside and using it. Now the feed to Junior. And Barnes comes to help. And here's Junior. Back to Levine. The pass to Junior. Lock at six. 
on the wing, Levine, over Bogdanovich, and the Bulls get it back. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Now, here's Junior, guarded by Fox. Levine, wide open, and the Bulls, another three. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. We see more teams doing this nowadays. We all are firmly entrenched in the era of the three ball. And he makes that one. He's considered one of the quickest guys in the game. Fox, he really hurts defenses on these takes. Pass to Junior. We know the NBA is looking to get rid of the one-and-done rule pretty soon. Adam Silver, Greg, saying he thinks the league can create a better system. Do you think so? I think he can. they can create a better system for some. Um, I think the growth of the G League, no doubt, is instrumental in that new system. Uh, now these young rookies can get the playing time in lower-tier pro games as they continue to develop. But I think still the collegiate game plays a significant role. The experience of going to college, even for a year, uh, can be invaluable. There are, there are pros both ways, college or the G League. Agree? I, I do. I'm just glad it's not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Now you have the option. Not every kid wants to go to college and have that experience. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Bulls. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget and on the other side one that I think most will try to forget. And for the year now they'll be tallying their 16th win. And so they win their first game against this squad it's a two game season series and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And we watched one guy all night long guys and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had what a night tonight it was for Junior. They needed someone to do the heavy lifting tonight, and he was their man, scoring every way he knows how. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. That's the dagger. You can tell they wanted that one. I know that seals the deal. He gets it in there. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Junior with it. In the corner, it's Levine. Pass to Junior. Outside, Levine. And so... Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olsen, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.